The purpose of this video is to clearly demonstrate the simple process of installing your smart flow submeter, which includes water shutoff capabilities. Before beginning the installation, ensure that you have located your water shutoff valve. This can be either indoors, using a water stop valve, or outdoors, using the water utility isolation valve. Once the water supply is isolated, turn on a tap or water appliance to drain the remaining water in the pipework. This will also confirm the functionality of the isolation valve. Only once the water flow has completely stopped should you proceed with the installation. Step 1. Connect the water meter and motorized valve using the appropriate plumbing fittings for your pipe size. Once connected, cut the pipework and install the water meter and motorized valve. Ensure all plumbing connections are securely watertight depending on your selected fittings. Step 2. The motorized valve should be installed at the first point of entry, before the water meter. The direction of water flow is indicated by the blue arrow. Step 3. Attach the module to the face of the water meter, as indicated by the yellow arrow. Step 4. Secure the smart flow base plate to a solid surface using the appropriate screws for the surface material. Next, wire the cables from the water meter and motorized valve to the base plate, ensuring the cables enter through the designated entry points. The motorized valve should be wired to the valve 1, as indicated by the green arrow. Follow the color-coded labels on the base plate to wire the cables correctly. The water meter should be wired to the base plate, as shown by the yellow arrow. There are four cable ports available for the water meter connection. Port 1 will be linked to port 4. For this water meter type, the brown cable represents the ground and should be wired to port 2, while the white cable represents the pulse and should be connected to port 3. Please consult the manufacturer's specifications if you are using a different water meter type, to verify the pulse and ground cable color assignments. Step 5. Connect the 9 volt power supply to the base plate, as indicated by the orange arrow. Step 6. Attach your smart flow hub to the base plate. Ensure that the main hub is securely clipped to the base plate. The external antenna should be hand tightened and positioned upright on the hub. Step 7. Plug the smart flow power supply into a power socket. The blue LED on the smart flow hub will begin flashing. Once the blue LED remains solid, it confirms that the smart flow device is successfully connected to the cloud. The final step is to contact the monitoring team with your device ID number and asset type. The contact details can be found in your cover letter. Following installation, you will be onboarded by the monitoring team, who will provide a personalized demonstration of the dashboard, detailing its full range of functions and features. The team will also verify that the motorized valve is correctly wired by performing a commissioning valve function. Additionally, you can share the contact email for any users who require access to the platform. The Smart Flow Monitoring Team will continuously oversee your asset, providing 24-7 real-time water usage analytics, alerts for water reduction, sustainability reporting, water bill validation, and more. Please remember to restore water flow via the isolation valve and verify that the water is flowing correctly at the appliances. With your property being three times more likely to incur damage from a plumbing leak than from burglary, you can now enjoy peace of mind knowing that the water can be shut off within five seconds of a leak detection. The Smart Flow Hub does not require a Wi-Fi connection. It connects via the cellular network in your area and is equipped with a built-in lithium-ion battery, ensuring the device remains connected for up to 48 hours in the event of a power outage. If you require any assistance during installation, our Smart Flow support team is readily available to assist you. Thank you for watching.